What up Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company. All of our Wilson Athletics coverage is sponsored by Joe Platonio and all of our Cabrillo Athletics coverage is sponsored by the Cone family. If it already feels like playoffs, it's because it kind of already is. Wilson and Cabrillo, the more leak finale moved to Browning because of a leaky roof at Wilson, but it's dry and bright in here as these teams play for their season. Basically, the Jaguars win sends them to the playoffs. A Wilson win creates a tie in another game on Friday. It's also senior night because it's the regular season finale. And as we said all year, an extra shout to these seniors because they have been through a lot and deserve it, tip of the cap. Cabrillo has been a great story with Coach Chris Spencer galvanizing this program and can make some more school history with a win tonight to punch their playoff ticket. This new gym at Browning is very nice, but combine two very strong defensive teams and these tight rims, and you get what you get. A low-scoring helter-skelter start. I mean, these rims are tighter than the connection between identical twins. It was iron unkind for both teams all night. Somebody give us some offense. There it be. Nathaniel Paris for three, and the Bruins take a lead. Going to defend it very well. Leading the charge was the freshman Evan Mack, who was great protecting the bucket. Got a few highlight Mack smacks here with these blocks from 20. At the other end, Kareem Caldwell and Andre Alvarez-Smith with a perfect pick and roll. Not a lot of offense in the first quarter. In fact, Wilson held Cabrillo to only two points in the first quarter. The Jags didn't have a field goal in the opening eight minutes. Bruins backers love that, and it's 10-2. Bruins headed to the second quarter. But Cabrillo comes alive in the second. Mason Johnson to Caleb Curry for the lay-in. Then former Bruin and current Jaguar Lincoln Dean gets hot. Hits that three in rhythm. Then he's going to go coast to coast. The Dean of Comebacks pulls his team with back in it. It is 13-13 with about three minutes left until halftime. Now for something completely different. Offense is not exactly shooting the lights out, but here we are. New gym, new issues. Look at how fast those lights come back on. Old gyms everywhere. Very jealous. The yakety sacks nature of this first half continued, and Wilson just had more comfort in the chaos. Arius Allen ends up with the finish, and the Bruins lead 17-14 at half. Johnson, the Jaguars, going to the paint to get back in it, and one finish for Deuce. But big man on campus has to be Alvarez Smith, who took over this stretch in the third quarter. He finished with a team-high 16 points. From the second quarter to the third quarter, he scored 14 consecutive points, the first 10 in the second half. Then after a scramble, it's Hayden Rodriguez from downtown. Solid quarter from the Bruins, and they're up 36-26, headed to the fourth quarter. Wilson going to their bench to protect the lead. Jeremiah Graham was key to that. Yeah, Tia Drab. Only had a few buckets, but they were all key down the stretch. He had all of his eight points in the fourth quarter. Then Graham is going to feed Allen on the baseline, and he is going to finish through contact. And one, Wilson leads by 13 with about four minutes to play. But Cabrillo would not go quietly into the night. Curry in a hurry to the 10. He had 17 points for the Jags. They cut the lead to 10. And then the swipe at midcourt from Jeremy Saking, and he makes his own money and spends it how he likes. Perfect time for the Jaguars to press, and they would press throughout this fourth quarter, doubling their offensive output in the fourth. Hectic, hectic, hectic. They lead to more turnovers and more easy buckets for Cabrillo. Less than a minute to play. Irvin Choice on the corner like common. That three makes it a three-point game with 37 seconds to play. Wilson responds well, then go break the press. Paris puts the Bruins back up by two possession as time runs down, but Lincoln has another trick up his sleeve and he comes down and fires a quick three, game high 22 for him. Jaguars gonna go right back into the press and they're gonna immediately force another turnover for a chance to either tie or take the lead. This is crazy because Cabrillo really came alive in the fourth. So it is a two point game with 16 seconds left. Great inbound defense from Hayrod though. And the pass in is gonna go over the top for Paris to scoop it and sprint to the bucket. And the foul. Paris had seven of his 11 points in the fourth. Wow, what a finish. What a moment for Wilson. Their season is alive with that 57-52 victory. But a wild game and a wild night gets even, well, wilder? As the team shake hands, a parent comes down, for lack of a better term, tried to fight Wilson coach James Boykin. Credit to the Wilson security. They stopped that, but then it spilled out into the parking lot. For more information on that, we have a story at the562.org. Obviously, nobody wants to see that. But what you do want to see is good quality basketball getting played again. Wilson and Cabrillo now have to play again on Friday, and the winner there will punch their ticket to the playoffs. That's going to be at Millican High School, a neutral site, 7 p.m. on Friday. For all of that and literally everything Long Beach sports, 
you got to keep it right here at the562.org.